Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain electric field due to point charge with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me share key aspects of this video. In this video, first I'll discuss about basics of electric field. After that, I'll explain electric field due to point charge. After that, I'll explain direction and calculation of electric field due to point charge. And at last, I'll explain direction of force under electric field on point charge. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of electric field. In my last video, I have explained Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law states that force between two point charge is directly proportional to magnitude of charges and inversely proportional to square of distance between them. If you observe the Coulomb's law, then that explains force between two charges Q1, Q2. If we have same polarity of charges, means Q1, Q2 is greater than zero. In that case, force in between these two charges will be repulsive force you can observe. If you have opposite polarity of charges, means Q1, Q2 less than zero. In that case, force between two charges that will be attractive force. So if we have equal polarity, like polarity means both charges are positive or both charges are negative. In that case, we will be having repulsive force in between charges. And if we have unlike polarity means opposite polarity. Here one charge is positive and another is negative. In that case, there will be attractive force. As per Coulomb's law, magnitude of force that is directly proportional to Q1, Q2 and inversely proportional to square of distance between them. Usually I used to use this equation. Instead of 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, I used to write k where k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 in terms of SI. Now question is why force is happening between two charges? See force is happening between two charges due to electric field. Like force on charge Q2 happens due to Q1 where Q1 is releasing some electric field. That electric field is resulting force on Q2. Similarly, due to Q2, force is happening on Q1. Q2 is resulting some electric field that is resulting into force on Q1. Right. So force on charge happens due to electric field. Now, how much electric field is generated? That is the question. To understand that, here basic definition is electric field due to point charge Q is amount of force acting on one Coulomb charge. So force is F that is K Q1 Q2 by R square. Here if you consider Q1 is equals to capital Q and Q2 is equals to one Coulomb, then electric field that is force on one Coulomb charge means electric field is equals to force that is K capital Q by R square. Let me explain you how. See here we have two charges, capital Q and one Coulomb. On one Coulomb charge, force exerted by charge Q is electric field. That is what the basic definition. So on this charge, one Coulomb charge, force due to capital Q charge is electric field. So if you calculate electric field, then that is force divided by charge. As per the basic definition of Coulomb's law, one can say 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q1, Q2 by R square, where Q1 is capital Q and Q2 is 1 Coulomb. Means electric field is K Q by R square. This is magnitude of electric field. Here value of K is 9 into 10 to the power 9 in terms of SI. Now, I'll explain you direction of electric field due to point charge. So, but obviously, Charge can be positive or negative. So if we have positive charge, so in that case you will be observing electric field that is there in outward direction from the charge. You can observe over here. If you have negative charge, in that case electric field that will be in inward direction to the charge. Based on polarity of charge, 
डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज देर फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इमर्जिंग एंड फ्रॉम नेगेटिव चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज गेटिंग एनक्लोज राइट तो फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज देर इन आउटवर्ड डिरेक्शन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व ओवर हियर एंड विथ नेगेटिव चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दैट इज गेटिंग एनक्लोज ओवर हियर इट इज इन इनवर्ड डिरेक्शन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व राइट नाउ आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू हैव अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू पॉइंट चार्ज मैग्निट्यूड वाइज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन लाइक इफ यू हैव पॉइंट चार्ज क्यू and if you want to measure electric field at this point at distance r then if this is positive charge then electric field will be in outward direction outward direction means it will be there in this direction magnitude wise it will be k q by r square but we need to understand this with respect to direction as well here if you talk about magnitude then that is k q by r square but it is there in the unit vector direction r so unit vector in this direction that you need to multiply along with the direction right if you want to calculate magnitude then that is fine it is k q by r square but direction will be in radial direction that one should know right here this unit vector that is vector r divided by magnitude of r so that is what unit vector of r so sometimes in some books you will be observing this equation is given k q by r cube into vector r but this is not unit vector here we are having unit vector so k q by r square into unit vector either you use this equation or you can use k q by r cube into vector r where vector r is not unit vector right so students are saying like i am writing some formula correctly but still people are giving wrong answers that is happening because of false understanding you should understand this magnitude wise it is kq by r square in the direction of unit vector r if you place unit vector is equals to vector r divided by r then this equation becomes kq by r cube into the direction of r right now i'll explain you direction of force under electric field on point charge this is very essential and based on this point you will be solving many problems in future coming videos as well so here if i consider we have electric field that is happening in this direction and let us place one positive charge inside this electric field so if you place positive charge inside electric field then direction of force that will be in the direction of electric field so always remember this if you place point charge under electric field then force direction will be in the direction of electric field and how much force will happen this force will be this charge q into electric field right this force will be this charge q into electric field if you have electric field and if you place negative charge inside electric field then direction of electric field and force both are opposite you can observe so force is happening in this direction electric field is there in opposite direction right so on negative charge force is in opposite direction to the direction of electric field right so this is what one should know and based on this understanding in future coming videos i'll be solving many problems which will resolve your understanding further thank you so much for watching this video